All right, what's good, YouTube? So today I am going to be cracking some good old Cosmic Eclipse, one of my favorite sets to open up. Um, there's just so much good stuff that you can pull out of these. But I also wanted to talk about um, a couple things. Number one, they're reprinting this set, which is awesome because a booster box of Cosmic Eclipse, 36 packs, will run you about $200 at the time of this recording. Now, um, early 2021, I would anticipate that price to come down a little bit, um, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think about the Cosmic Eclipse reprint? Um, personally, I love opening up this set, but it's getting expensive to open up this set, so a reprint is is good by me, but there are people that dislike reprints, you know? It is what it is, but uh, I don't view myself as an investor. I never have. Um, I've always just been strictly a collector. I'm not, you know, in the Pokemon hobby for money. You know, I, I enjoy these things. And if they were worthless, I would still enjoy them, you know. I mean, them having value does does help, you know. It is cool. We got a Savali GX. That's pretty sick. I've pulled this card a lot. <laughs> but um, another thing I wanted to talk about is... It seems like the hype is dying. It seems like, you know, prices are coming down. You know, PSA 9 base set Charizard, the price I think has has dropped a couple thousand dollars to where it once was. There it was a there was a point when it was extremely hype and with the prices were crazy. And now it's starting to come down. Things like evolutions packs were as high as $15, $16 per pack. And now they're, I see people struggling to sell them at $7 a pop. So, um, you know, that's just a couple examples of, of prices coming down. But I'm curious, do you guys think the, the Pokemon market is crashing? You know, Logan Paul, I don't like to talk about Logan Paul on my channel. I know a lot of people talk about Logan Paul and Pokemon. But, you know, he recently said that he was stepping away and... You know, I think a lot of people that jumped into this game, as you know, around the same time as him, because of him, are probably panicking. They're probably trying to get rid of their stuff, and that's going to cause prices to come down. People are going to undercut each other and all kinds of stuff. So, um, what do you guys think? Personally, I hope, I hope it crashes. As bad as that, you know, I'm going to get dislikes for saying that, but to be honest with you, like. I haven't I haven't been in a, a position to, to buy stuff for a long time. It's just too expensive. And you know, it the prices will always fix themselves. Like things might crash, but they'll always come back up. But you know, I'm I'm ready for, for they'll never be like they were, you know. Back in the day when I first hopped into the game, dude, prices were so cheap, right you. Yeah. <laughs> Sneeze on Weavile. But, uh, like, 25 30 bucks for a base set Charizard. Some of you hearing that might be like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Some of you hearing that might be like, when was that a thing? But it was a thing at one point in time. We have six packs. It was a thing at one point in time, and, man, I do miss those days. I, I bought my, my first edition PSA 9 Dark Charizard. For a hundred and eighty dollars, PSA nine first edition Hollow Dark Charizard. That card now is like two or three grand, I want to say. So <laughs> double mimic you. So uh, yeah, the 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 prices. I'm so glad I picked that card up when I did because had I been like, ooh, one hundred and eighty, that's too much. I I wouldn't ever be able to get one because I'm I can't I'm not in the position to spend thousands of dollars on a single Pokemon card. Is it it is what it is. Um, I'm not complaining, but man, it's it's crazy. And I I hope <laughs> I'm gonna piss a lot of people off. I hope it does because I I never viewed any of my ooh nice and a crate dilly. I never viewed any of my my cards and purchases and things like that as like an investment. I never did. It was, you know, I wanted this in my own personal collection. I wanted to have it and enjoy it. I have that 
that collector gene, I guess you could say. Like, I just like collecting stuff. It's not just Pokemon cards. I collect other stuff, too. My main thing that I collect is Pokemon cards, though. But, um, yeah. And I never, I never, I can't even sell, you know, a lot of people, if they bought that a card for $180 and then it skyrocketed to two, $3,000, a lot of people would, oh, I'm, I'm selling this right now. And I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Not to and a beware. It is what it is. Like, I, I, I figure if I sell that thing, I'm never going to get it back. I'll never have it again. And it's not about the money for me. If it was, dude, there's so many, <clears throat> excuse me, there's so many things that I could sell right now and make a lot of money. <laughs> and I don't want to do it, you know, I just don't. And if the, if the market crashes and, and the cost of my collectibles that I own decreases substantially, it's not going to bother me. It really isn't because I, pop, I bought this stuff with the intent to hold on to it forever, maybe pass it down to my kids if they want it when, when the time comes quickly. But, yeah, there, there are things. I, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, oh, yeah, I don't sell anything because that's not true, like, this, what I do with this is I uh, sort it out and then I bulk it out, basically. I'll get 3.5 cents for a common uncommon, like 1.5 cents for an energy, uh, 6, 7 cents for a rare. Because if I just sit on all this, you know how quick this stuff builds up? It builds up quick, so I do sell bulk, but certain cards, I do have a ton of these, so I'll probably sell, try to sell some of them. I have a few copies of that. I don't keep everything, but I do keep the stuff that I'm like, ooh, I want to add this to my collection. So I won't sit here and say like, yeah, I don't sell anything. Because I do. That's just a part of the hobby is buying, selling, trading. And, uh, oh, dude, this is a major hit right here. Let's freaking go. Oh, man. So, the centering on these character cards can be pretty bad sometimes. This one's pretty... It's not perfect by any means. It's not terrible, though. And we don't have any white specs on here. So, that is awesome. This is like 25 30 bucks. I want to say. Amazing. Because the polls haven't been that good. I ain't going to lie to you. I won't lie to you, uh... You know, only one, we've opened nine packs and gotten one GX, but that character rare is one of the chase cards, I would say. We got one pack left, but yeah, I'm curious to hear your thoughts, um, you know, about the, the reprint and do you guys think the Pokemon market is crashing? Is it just having a slight decline? I think it's just having a slight decline. I forgot to... To mention that I'm not very good at doing YouTube, so I apologize for that. We got a roller skater and a Dragalgi. Um, but yeah, do you guys think it's crashing? It might, it might. We never know. I'm sure a lot of people are afraid that it might, but um, I'm cool, you know. I'm not worried about it. If it does, cool. If it doesn't, cool. I think the uh, the truth of the matter is, it's just seeing a slight decline, and then it'll eventually, you know, start growing back up. But, uh, yeah, so only one GX out of 10 packs, but we did pull two character cards, and we hit the best one. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, thank you for checking out the video. If you could drop a like, that would mean a lot to me. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.